Hello everyone. This is the uh, start of my channel. My name is Gabe and this will be pretty much a correlated channel. What I'm starting this for is really a build of some of the cars I bought. Specifically this one here. I'll be able to see already. It's a Mazda RX-7. I believe this is a 91 convertible. So, got uh, a little bit done to it, but I gotta kinda remove and build it from there. Looks kinda rough, very dirty, it's been sitting on a farm for, I have no idea how long. So the weather's got to it, very dirty, and they did a swap to it. They did a V8 swap, and I think they hydrolocked the motor, so they're gonna pull it and then sell it to me as a shell, rolling shell, whatever you want to call it. But the guy couldn't get a hoist, so he left it in there and sold to me as is. So, so my plans on doing, I was thinking a 13B swap might be a, quite a bit of work to put it back to stockish form. And since it's been swapped, I might as well continue and do a different swap since it's kind of set up. A couple ideas is, K20, which is probably the most cost effective route on Jay Z, um, or maybe build a rotary. So let's take a look. Here it is. Now, as you can see, they're very, very dirty. It's sitting on a farm for a long time, and as you can tell, it's a convertible, kind of no interior, but the top is. In uh, the worst shape you could probably think of. So I'm sure the rain and weather all got into it, but main reason is the body's somewhat clean for a car being in Illinois. And you probably noticed that already, that huge hole. I think he had a cowl and carburetor. V8 muscle couldn't fit, so he had to cut a hole. Front end is clean, everything's clean. Clean, clean, clean. I don't know what wheels these are. They kind of look like Supras, but I'm thinking maybe Mustang, like Fox body style. Can't really tell. I don't know. This is the first time of me actually looking at the car, so. Sure, there's gonna be a lot of things I'm finding along the way, which you guys are gonna be learning as well. Yep. This is pretty, pretty nasty. The interior is fairly somewhat in shape. Not the best, but can't really ask for much. Wow, this wiring and mold and mildew. Yeah, I know this is not a good sight, but I am willing to attack this project and see what I can pull up with. As you can tell, automatic shifter through this, for this V8. So that's another thing I gotta do. Since it's not originally a manual car uh have to convert it to manual by you know doing the pedals clutch master and whatever i gotta do but since it's probably open it'll probably be easy for me to fit whatever shifter trans in there so no biggie got some switches some gauges and this needs a detailing for sure so this target top Looks like it's pretty decent. It's just the uh, material, look at those speed holes. And it's crazy that this glass with a, uh, with defrosters on it. But this interior looks pretty darn clean and it's nice that it's black. Um, I have another RX-7 non-convertible, it's a coupe uh, with blue interior, which is clean, but not the uh, most preferable 
colors out of them all. And here is the back. Let's see. Like I said, Mazda. RX-7 is usually right here. One thing I'm just realizing now, when I saw the picture of this car, it had, I need to look at it, S5 taillights. S5 means 89 to 91. These are S4, which I think was 86 to 88. So I think the last second this guy swapped these taillights before he sold them to me. Because he didn't know how much these parts kind of cost, so I don't know, maybe save himself some money. There we go, much better. Let's see. This looks fairly stock here. Oh, what is that? Trans cooler oil. That's a oil cooler. An aftermarket one. Normally the stock one is very large and pretty good for performance setups. But yep, gonna be ripping that out. But look at this big old Chevy V8. Um, you can see how nasty it is in there. That's uh, water. Probably from rain and everything just building up. Oh man, that does not look good. But, yeah, the trans is still in there. Maybe I could sell that. I doubt someone's going to want to buy this block. But, yeah, that's really it. Oh wow. It's definitely a lot cleaner than I thought it'd be. Huh? There's that emblem I was talking about. Mazda RX-7. Okay. This kind of surface rust here actually has the spare tire in it. It's all factory covers. And let's see what we got here. This is the uh, battery relocation to the trunk. There's the ground positive. And here's a fuse box. They run a fuse box in the back and they got a cutoff switch. Which is kind of cool. Makes it easy just to disconnect the battery for whatever reason you got. So, yeah, very important to have a working trunk, especially when you got important things back here um, to deal with this one be so worried about but it's nice to have, have it. So just guessing radiator hose. Yeah, that's good to see. Alright. Oh man this is pretty nasty looking to see but that's cool. Yeah this is pretty solid there. Stuck um mirrors look very nice especially being stock has a blue tent and that m3 style again door style all right here we go yeah i mean it's pretty bad but as long as there's no holes in the floorboards that would have to be patched up i'm pretty happy about that because these are where oh, oh there you go find something because we're stock seats bolt up that's the only thing I'm worried about. Um, I should probably put a milk crate here for now, but let's see. I actually do have some stock seats from my other car. So, pretty sure it shouldn't be any different than a um, convertible. So, at least some, have some seats for the time being, which I don't have to buy. Okay, let's get in. Pull that here somewhere. There we go. Gauges, what we got? Oil pressure, water temperature, and voltage. Very important gauges. And it's going to be a mystery finding out what these all switches do. Normally you'd like to have them labeled, but if you're the one building it, you kind of know, but future people, now it's a mystery. But all you gotta do is trace the wiring I don't know, I might as well just leave it like this for now. 
just this uh, surrounding, people charge like $100 just to sell it. But this is actually pretty interesting. Look at that. If someone just glanced at it, you'd think that the factory kind of blends in. But this is a uh, upholster. This is a form of a leather. Very close matching here. I mean, it is really dirty, but that's pretty, 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 pretty decent. American Muscle. This is a Hurst shifter, which a lot of people know with um, American cars. But uh, yeah, again, this automatic. So that's all they needed. The big steering wheel. Oh wow! Surprisingly, this has a factory airbag. Cruise control, obviously that's not hooked up anymore. These uh, triangles are very common for Arc 7s. They break almost every single time. And this is normally where the clock goes and a lot of dummy gauges, they call it. They covered it with this uh, leather type of thing. But I like those, those uh, displays. So this is probably something I'm gonna have to rip out and change I'm gonna give him an attempt to try to open this convertible top and put it down might be a little scary but I mean it's now or never well I guess I can figure it out later wow, look at this what is this oh it's a cover I, th I thought this was a uh, uh, sunscreen but there it is it's like a little baby one okay let's let's give it a shot let's see what happens attempting to open the top for the first time. sure that's how it sits I mean as far as it goes down it's kind of crazy this is the, the glass it kind of just sits on there but went down I don't know where kind of like the framing is because I want to make sure the framing is at least decent so I could put it up and down for a time being riding around with those holes like that but say if I am driving and it rains at least the target top up here see, sealed pretty well and everything over here it's not really much exposed I could you know put coverings or tarps so in case it leaks through yeah learning things little by little and again this is uh, why it's nice to uh, start this channel so could have it documented and you guys can live it along with me. And I did get the idea from a few friends. A um, friend kind of introduced me, or not introduced me, but he showed me a car to pick up and that kind of gave me the spark. I've been out of the car game for a little bit. I have another one like this that I built a while ago, but this will be a new project, which I love doing and is very exciting. I don't know what I'm doing there. But, yeah, um, hopefully I'll get some followers, some other guys to watch that have experienced some of this or can shed some light on maybe some help. Um, I think I know a thing or two about Rotary's Arc-7s, well, FC's in particular, but um, I just like learning. So, if you guys could help me, I could try to help you. Let's try to see how this goes and hopefully in the end we got a good looking car, functional and something different. I like to make something uh, unique, unlike others, kind of put my own style on it, but 
let's get the thing running first and then it can start making it look nice and start doing more functional things for racing but step one get it moving on its own power pushing is not the funnest thing especially when you don't really have much help so I like trying to do things on my own when I can but when you need someone and when you uh, call someone you know you use their time so gotta use that wisely alrighty 